being ourselves. I think all of us at some point come up against levels of insecure thought about what other people think or what other people might say. And, and sometimes you might notice that that could lead you to change your behavior to please others or fit in or do the right thing. And today we really want to point to the power of you being yourself and how inspiring that is to those around you and those you serve. Um, the kind of examples that come to mind for me are very recent. You know, um, after the death of my partner, I went into a kind of um, very, very strange behavior, behavior I hadn't, hadn't noticed about myself before, where, whereby I just seemed to, without seeing it, be operating from a need for approval and wanting to make sure everyone else was okay. And as I went along on my journey, thankfully with this understanding, I, I began to wake up to the fact that I was living more from feelings of obligation than living from feelings of my true nature. So how that played out for me was I would take over responsibility for people. I would say yes when I meant no. I would be so exhausted, but I would push myself to keep going anyway. And I wouldn't even check in with my own wisdom in certain situations. I would just be on autopilot, like this is what you do. Now, thankfully, because we have this understanding of how the mind works, and I made it a practice that I listened to the early recordings of Sydney Banks every single day, I began to just wake up to that's that that feeling I'm living in isn't my the feeling of my true self. This feeling is a feel coming from, from obligation, coming from expectation from others, coming from needing to avoid being talked about negatively. And if we go down traditional roads, I don't know what Dr. Mark might say, but you know, people might have diagnosed me with having a stress response to what happened or being in trauma and therefore losing sight of myself. Like, but I wasn't interested in any of that. I was just interested in really knowing the difference between when I was being myself versus when I was being who everybody else needed me or wanted me to be. And as I began to take care of me and what I mean by that is I began to prioritize a quieter state of mind I began to um, be more interested in the feeling of well-being what happened was I just noticed a change in my habits and my behavior I noticed myself taking a moment to check in before responding to people. I noticed myself being able to say no without kind of cowering down about the repercussions. I also noticed myself um, being happier as a result, just living happy. Not something you might expect after the sudden death of your partner, you know. But the feeling of love and connection just continued to carry me through that whole experience. The feeling of our of being ourselves, our true nature, just 
a kind of a spiritual balm in the midst of challenge, loss, what some might describe as a trauma. And when I look around even at the world and what's happening now, I'm so comforted by that feeling of love and that feeling of our true nature. Because as we live from there, that's how we serve the world. That's how we serve humanity at this time. I think it was Sid that said he could do more for the world tending to his roses. I mean, what a radical statement, right? Like what a what an invitation to, to take care of self, capital S, as a means to therefore being able to show up for others and to add to the collective feeling of love for the world. So what if this being ourselves is actually the place that we get to make the most impact. And what if all of the tending to obligations and tiptoeing around invitations and kind of worrying what people are going to say if we post something on social media or if we say the wrong thing, what if all of that is just letting us know we're back in, in learned habits of thought? I really witness this kind of um, self-esteem, this natural self-esteem, right, just rising back up to the surface. As I trusted true self in each moment that she was presented with, uh, uh, an invitation, an expectation, or an obligation. A rising up of self-esteem as we really listen and, and choose from that space of our, being ourselves. What if tending to the roles is you? Treating yourself that way, taking care of you first. Letting that be enough and noticing how just being you serves the world and your world 